What's up? Welcome back to my channel. It has been quite a while since I vlog, so I thought there was no better way to start the new year than with a vlog. It's so hot in this room. So as you can tell, the bedroom is a little bit different. I actually moved apartments. Um, I feel like there's so much in my life that YouTube has like missed out on, but I moved apartments. I'm still in Portland, but I signed a six month lease with my boyfriend. So we are living here in a two bedroom, two bath apartment, and it has been amazing. We've been here for like three weeks, and so we're still like decorating, like the walls are still kind of empty, but so far, so good. I am running some errands today. My goal in 2022 is to like not always feel like I have to run errands or spend money for a successful entertaining vlog. I really want to vlog more, and it's going to be more like mundane, simple, things that I do like in my actual life like the reality of my life is like I'm not always spending money and shopping and going out and getting coffee and like doing things all the time so I really think I want these vlog to be more realistic and on brand with my actual life and not be like I have to constantly do things to entertain the vlog if that makes sense just because it's not really practical or sustainable um so we'll see but my goal is to vlog more this year so that is very exciting anyway today I am running errands um I have a lot of places that I have to go such as Aesop to get I, wa I want to get something I don't know what it is yet I have a gift card from Noah's mom and I want to spend it I'm going to UPS to drop off some Super 8 film to get developed. I'm going to the camera shop to drop off film. And I possibly want to pick up a new camera today. And I kind of want to go to like a bookstore and pick up a notebook for 2022 just to like jot down all my thoughts and notes and have like a brand new book for the year that's like very organized. So we'll see. But I feel like it's going to be a really good day. It's kind of like cloudy out, but um, it's whatever. I'm in a good mood. All right, so I am going to the UPS store first. Literally my least favorite place on the planet. Any post office service is the worst. I feel like they make you feel so dumb and like I just get so flustered and overwhelmed every single time that I go. It should be quick, should be easy. The weather today is just so bad. Like, so cloudy, so rainy. It just puts such a dampener on my mood. Like, I need sunshine. And of course I live in Portland, which is like one of the like darkest places I think to live. I don't know, I made that up. I have no idea. It's so dark. So I think one of my bigger goals for 2022 is to really just find my style within vlogging. I really just want to find like my own niche editing style and something that just feels right towards me. Um, so yeah, we're trying to figure it out. This camera slides across the dash and it makes me so angry that I stop vlogging for the whole day. I'm trying to find more like consistency and trying to just like vlog no matter what and push through and just be very consistent, but it's so hard. Like there are literally times where I'll go to Starbucks and they won't have the drink that I want and I'll just be like, okay, I'm not vlogging today. And it's so, it's weird. It's honestly so weird. I was supposed to take that turn and I didn't. Awesome. I'm so ready for summer, it's not even funny. I wanna be wearing shorts, I wanna be like going out, I wanna be having fun. Ugh, I miss it so much. There's this artist that I've been obsessed with for like the past, I mean, I've literally liked her my whole life because I listened to her growing up as a kid, like my mom would always play her, but I kind of rediscovered her. I'm like hooked. Her name is Enya. There's this one album. And it's so good. All right, we are taking like the longest way to the UPS store. I literally am taking another wrong turn. This cannot be real life. Oh my God, well, this is perfect. I'll go to Aesop on 23rd because that's, that's where I wanna go. I wanna go to Aesop. I'm like weird. I don't allow people to go in front of me if they're not in the crosswalk. You don't have the right of way here, which pedestrians always have the right of way, but I'm like, Go up 10 feet and use the crosswalk and then I'll let you go. That's just how I feel. Is this a parking spot? Maybe. Are you legally allowed to park on a speed bump? I don't see why not. You know, I'm gonna park here. I just don't really care.
Okay, it's raining now, which is a bummer, but I just got back from Aesop and I bought two new things. So I bought the Parsley Seed Serum and then I bought the Facial Toner, the Parsley Seed Facial Toner as well. I have both of these in like the travel size kits and I've been loving them. They just make my skin feel really, really clean and soft and moist and it's amazing. Um, so I picked up two big bottles to actually keep in my apartment and then the other ones I can use when I'm traveling because I'm gonna go through them so fast. But stop number one, done for the day. We're gonna try and go to UPS now. Wish me luck. Okay, UPS was quick, easy, fun. Not fun, but quick and easy. So now I'm gonna go off to a film lab kind of far away from Portland because I like to get my stuff developed at a certain place. So I'm getting two rolls of medium format film developed and scanned and so, so, so excited. I love film, I'm obsessed. Like if I never had to pick up a digital camera again, that would be so expensive. Um, but anyway, I'm kind of excited to just like get home and like drink tea and eat and like work on the computer. I parked over like a ginormous piece of trash. Where am I going? I don't even know. I'm going right and I'm in the left lane. Jesus help me. Oh, uh, here's the North Face store. I really want like a huge puffer for the winter, kind of like this, but more like everyday wear. Like I feel like I can wear this like, you know, once a week and it's fine, but I can't really wear this every day because it's such a like unique piece. I just want like a black North Face jacket, which North Face is back in and it's kind of throwing me for a loop because they were out for quite a bit. But it's the Aritzia jackets and the North Face jackets and the balaclavas or whatever that are back in. I'm kind of here for it. I love it. Yeah, it's fun. I love following like fashion trends and stuff like that. I have like so, so, so many goals for 2022. And one of them is to really just dress how I want and be more like fun with how I dress because I feel like I dress pretty boring most of the time. And I just want to add like more unique fun pieces to my wardrobe, but I don't want to spend a ton of money. That's the thing. Like I don't shop at fast fashion. Like I only thrift clothes and like occasionally I'll buy like new clothes if I really, really like the artist. Um, or the, you know, designer or whatever. Yeah, it's so hard to have like a bunch of fun pieces of clothes and make new outfits all the time with like a minimal wardrobe, but clothes are so expensive. But when summer and spring rolls around, I want to be looking hot. I do. I feel like I deserve it. I feel like the world deserves it. This is going to be my summer. And I never say that. I'm not one of those bitches that is like, this is my summer. This is my summer. And they're like, I never say that. I know it. This is my year. This is my summer. I'm going to pop off this year and I'm going to be a new person. I just know it. I've really outgrown myself. I'm just outgrowing a lot of things. The old me was like, I want to have a lot of things, a lot of friends. I don't know. I think like this past year, I've been a little bit more quiet, reserved. Like I don't post on social media as much. I just kind of like Wait, do I have a Starbucks gift card? Oh my god, I have money. Oh my god, I'm getting Starbucks. I'm pretty sure at the beginning of this video, I said I wasn't going to spend money to entertain you guys, and I'm doing it. I had an ESOP gift card. I have Starbucks, Starbucks gift card. I'm not spending as much as I think, but I did spend $40 at UPS to ship those tiny little things. I can't believe it. Oh, this is the year I've become frugal. Watch me. Watch me start cutting coupons, watch. Do you guys know the TikToker of that girl and she asked for the pumpkin loaf and they said they didn't have it and she said, perfect? She lives in Portland. I wanna be friends with her. Order whenever you're ready. All right, thank you. Could I just do um, a hot, what is it called? It's like a chai something. Uh, yeah, we have chai tea lattes. Oh yeah, just a chai tea latte, yeah. Uh, Can I do grande? Yeah. Thank you. Chai tea latte, I don't know. The thing I just ordered, I kind of got stressed, is what my mom used to get in like 2010. I wanted something hot, but they don't really have any of the holiday drinks anymore, which I did love. I did love the holiday drinks. So we're getting a hot chai tea latte, which those are good. Those are really good. I forgot they had those actually. I just really feel like this is my year to kind of become more of who I feel like I'm supposed to be. Like I feel like I see who I want to be and I'm like, taking steps to get there. Like, I know what I want for my business. Like, I wanna be vlogging more. I wanna be creating more art and photography that just aligns with things that inspire me. And to be completely honest with you, like a lot of the work that I'm attracting right now is kind of not what I want to be putting out into the universe as much anymore. I feel like there's a huge part of me that wants to be shooting more 
editorials and fashion and high-end commercial work. Something that I'm struggling with is finding the motivation and time and energy to do multiple things. Does that make any sense? I hope so. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. This Starbucks is so good. This camera shop that I'm going to is one of my favorites. They are so, so, so nice. If you live in Portland, I highly recommend going to Blue Moon Camera for film and developing and scanning and any cameras that you want. Like, it's hands down the best camera shop in Portland. Love it. It's so good. So I just realized the camera that I wanted to buy, um, I thought that was the only camera that could produce Polaroids that look like this. These are like Andy Warhol photos, like beautiful Polaroids, really good quality. I think they're four by five. Um, but yeah, I really want Polaroids like that because they're just like so, so beautiful. But I didn't realize many cameras can take photos like that. You just need to find the film, which the film is what's expensive. But um, I have so many cameras that can produce Polaroids like that, which I never knew until today. So I'm super excited. Okay, I'm literally exhausted, so I just got home, and I think I'm gonna like make tea and lay in bed and chill out. I'm so, so, so tired. I don't really know why I didn't do that much today, but running errands when it's like cold and rainy out makes me feel tired. All right, so that's it for this vlog. Um, subscribe if you want to. Um, I appreciate you watching, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon.